Why don't we all lay on the ground like, like bodies. bodies? They have dug up bottles filled with human body parts. This literally is American War Story in real life. If I walk down that hallway, I'm like literally going to barf. They discovered 500 bottles altogether that point to the stories of Norman Baker. People would disappear here. I think that there's bodies out there. Oh, there's definitely bodies out there. Definitely. In 1937, Norman Baker bought this hotel. He was said to be a narcissist type of guy. He created formula number five, which was said to be the cure to cancer. This formula consisted of ground up watermelon seed, brown corn silk, red clover, and a touch of carbolic acid. He opened up this hotel as the Cancer Curable Baker Hospital. And for $5,000, he would treat your cancer with his special formula. $5,000 back then would be the equivalent of $100 hundred and eighty one thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars today so this hotel was said to be top of the line luxury the most glamorous place that you could come to cure your cancer and his success rate was 100 percent. people would stay at this hotel for months on end and receive dr baker's treatment and slowly after time they would start to decline in health and when they would almost be on the brink of dying he would send them home and say they were cured he would go on to perform this treatment for 10 years norman baker was arrested for practicing medicine without a license which he had to pay a $1,000 fine and do one day's time in jail. Norman Baker was never arrested for the hundreds of lost lives due to his fake serum. This place is over 100 years old and lots of deaths have happened here. Dr. Baker's morgue is still here along with his meat locker to keep bodies in and his display of body parts because yes, he would perform autopsies on his patients that passed away and sometimes he would jar their body parts and keep them. People have seen things that are unexplainable, heard things that they can't quite comprehend, the amount of paranormal activity that goes on at this place, I knew I had to come here and do an investigation. This is our night at the Crescent Hotel. What the heck? Isn't this crazy? What type of old school ancient place <laughs> did you take us to? A really cool one. Really haunted one. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Let's go. Ah! So we have a room on the third floor and the fourth floor, and both of the rooms are extremely haunted. Everything here is like extremely vintage. Like, look at this. All the way down from like the hotel keys to the elevator. I'm like, do we get in it? It's like gonna break down or something. Oh, fart it, Kelsey. I can't help it. Kelsey farted. Oh, oh my God. Kelsey. Kelsey. famous. It was that damn Jeez. chocolate. That goddamn chocolate. <laughs> How long have you worked here? just over two years. A lot of weird things have happened to you while you've been working here? Most definitely, quite a few things. Howdy folks, I'm Chris. I'm a ghost tour guide here at the Crescent Hotel. Before you ever worked here, did you like believe in spirits or anything like that? I've actually had experiences my entire life with spirits, so it's nothing new. <laughs> Kelsey actually saw a woman. What did you see? Yeah, you, so, earlier. So last night I saw a woman. It was in the front of the hotel and I was telling Tiffany, I was like, there's a woman over there. And Tiffany was like, well, there was a woman who like fell from a balcony is what she said. And I was like, this, was she in a white dress? White dress? This is my friend Kelsey. She's a psychic medium who can see, feel, and communicate with the dead. She doesn't know the history of this place. So tonight we're testing her psychic abilities to see what she can find out. Chance, she's like, yeah, I guess they see her in a white dress. It's some sort of heartbreak, something that made her like unalive herself off the balcony and I guess the story kind of aligned with everything I said and they call her the lady in the mist she was really adamant about me coming into the hotel and oh, yeah. very adamant about talking with me so I'm sure we'll experience her I guess she uh, jumped or fell off the third floor but I do feel like she jumped this is where the lady in the mist fell from that's the woman that came to Kelsey last night I probably would have been right around here my heart feels not well right now. Hitting. Like, like almost like the air is just gone. Yeah, yeah. Like it feels real I heavy right here. I feel like here. she fell face first. I could be wrong, but I, I just keep getting this image of her falling face first. And yeah. if you're feeling that pressure, like, yeah, in your chest, this feels like really sad. Like, yeah, really, no, it's really sad energy.
Kelsey, what do you think this is without reading it? I'm gonna freak. Well, okay, okay, hold on. Famous Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, they have dug up bottles filled with human body parts. It all started when hotel groundskeepers found the first bottle about three months ago. They discovered 500 bottles altogether that point to the stories of Norman Baker using the hotel back in the late 1930s to treat cancer patients. Tiffany did tell me that there were like body pieces and parts in jars. Yeah. Tell me then as I walked up, I just felt this pressure in my chest, like it was really hard to breathe. Why do you think there's body parts in jars? Experimentation, maybe, I don't know. I'm not picking up anything, so I'm not sure. Norman <laughs> did not believe in surgeries while his patients were alive. But it didn't stop him from having his staff perform autopsies when they died. He would collect them, put them in, bo in the bottles and jars. Do you think it was, it was like trophies strange. for him? Like some sort of trophy? Yes, I do believe it was similar to that. I feel, I feel like it, he was proud of them. Like it yeah. was like some sort yeah. of trophy. So he owned this hotel and he just had this weird fetish or weird... So he claimed that he knew the cure to cancer and he would have patients stay here and he would be injecting who had them cancer. yeah who had and cancer. they died cure. and he would inject them saying oh i'm gonna help you guys i'm gonna cure your cancer and then they would die and then afterward he would take their body parts and put them in jars there was a pain asylum pain asylum so yes. what exactly is a pain asylum it was more so hey I need to hide the fact that these people are dying. He yeah. claimed to have a 100% success rate. He wasn't a real doctor, right? He had no real credentials. No, he didn't have any kind of doctorate, nothing at all. Whoa. I wonder if he had some sort of like borderline personality disorder where he thought like he was a doctor. He genuinely thought yeah, he was a doctor. I mean? Yeah. So there was a pain asylum here. So they would send people who were in severe pain to go be in pain, I guess, over here. Which is <laughs> well, not necessarily just severe pain, but when they were close to dying. Yeah. Oh, so this is this, this was the last this is stop. His hiding spot for all of that. And it's right here. Right here. And there's only two uh, rooms in there. I feel like there was so much suffering over here. Oh yeah. Do you feel that? I haven't. Any, I'm like, have you noticed I haven't walked that way yet? I literally. I'm feel getting. Like, I'm like mentally preparing myself because I know I'm gonna feel something over there. I feel like if I walk down that hallway, I'm like literally going to barf. sometime at colon cancer, like something with intestine. I don't know, some sort of organ failure. Maybe it was like a spleen, liver, something, maybe liver. Liver? When you said liver, I got like a weird feeling. Could have been liver, something was wrong liver with liver failure. Liver failure. Money. So there used to be rumors going on, went around town where, you know, that people would disappear here. In 1937, Norman Baker bought the hotel. Yeah. And he was selling a formula number five. But he was also having them use this mental therapeutics, like healing yourself using only the power of your mind. When the cure didn't work, he would say that their mental therapeutics hadn't worked. Their mind wasn't strong enough to heal them and it wasn't his fault. It was theirs. It was theirs. But sometimes he would send people home before they were well or too sick. He'd say, gosh, you look really good. Looks like the cure worked. And they had to get him for something. And he had sent out false advertising through the federal yeah. mail, which made it a federal offense. Get him on, they, wow. he was in prison for three and a half years in Leavenworth. And then when he got out, moved down to Miami, and he lived offshore on a boat until 1958. He passed away of uh, cirrhosis of the liver complicated by cancer. So he passed away from what? Cirrhosis of the liver complicated by cancer. That's exactly what Kelsey said that she felt back there. Really? And she was like, liver, oh my yeah. God, something hurts right here. And it feels like a man. You need to hear this. Yep. What did you say you felt when what you were at the pain asylum? With the man? Sort of organ failure that he went through. Okay, I was like, I felt like organ failure, like some sort of organ failure. And how did Norman Baker die? Cirrhosis of the liver complicated by cancer. Oh, and I said, I said liver. I said liver. <laughs> Maybe it was like a spleen, liver. When you said liver, I got like a weird feeling. 
could have been liver or something was wrong with liver failure. Liver failure. She did say liver. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Why am I legit? <laughs> <laughs> We're going down to the morgue. Like surprisingly, I don't feel horrible, but it is really scary down here. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm so scared. Why my key is not working? Literally, Did you see this? this key before. The key's not working. I know it's the right key because I've used it. We might have to go around. We tried to go through the morgue two different ways and it's just not working. None of the keys are working. We can't get into the morgue right now. Even though know the key literally says M-O-R for morgue. Yeah. Hey babe, spit in the keyhole. I'm only spitting in your keyhole. Uh. Is this going on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which tube is this going on? A different tube. <laughs> I've never had trouble getting in the morgue either. No way. She's never had trouble. I think something was trying to maybe keep you out of the morgue. Okay, I will be honest. I, I, the only one, I, the only one who was here that was like, I think he was like cutting people's bodies up and keeping them as mementos. I did say that. Oh, there we go. And then the fucking door. Oh, <laughs> So this is Norman Baker. This is the man who was claiming he knew the cure to cancer. Oh, is that that must be his mugshot? Yeah. This is the morgue. He would do his science experiments down here. After somebody died, he would take their body and he would like open them up and sometimes he would jar their body parts and save them. It's cancer Curable Baker Hospital. Do you see that the only word is curable that has like kind of like yeah. completely yeah. rusted out? Yeah. Yeah. An antique fire was down here. It was like, that's authentic. Meaning nobody has scratched off the word curable. It literally wow. did it on its own. That's interesting. Look, you would have to pay $5,000 to get your cancer cured. He guaranteed it. He never cured them and he just made them pay to get more treatment. Oh my God. He was a con man. He was a liar. He made millions of dollars off of people's cancer. God. This literally is American Horror Story in real life. It looks like fat. I'm over here acting like I'm part of the tour guide. This is what they found. I had made a joke that it was fat, and then the lady was like, Yeah, that's what another yes. person said. So these are real jars of that they found. real patients. There's like pills in there. Is this something he used to cut them open? Yeah, it's like a blade. Oh my god. I can't believe they found all these GRs. That is nuts, bro. GRs have things that like he found and he would say that they were like tumors. Who knows if it's really that Yeah, like in, in the marketing material, cancer of the right breast removed November right. 17th and 30th from whoever. Mm -hmm. No operations. How did he remove it with no operation? Yeah. <laughs> is the locker where he would store the dead bodies at. This was a freezer room. So people would die, he would bring them in here, he would lay them on the ground, he would keep them here, and they would slowly decay. Well, you guys already know I've been having some issues with my keys, so hopefully it doesn't get stuck. I'm gonna have her close the door. Oh, wait, you're gonna close the Wait, wait maybe gonna... let's not do that. Something I feel like that No, we'll, we'll be it's fine. Not gonna get stuck. <laughs> It, it shouldn't get stuck. We're about to get closed in to the freezer. <laughs> into the, the morgue. Difference. <laughs> the morgue freezer. Oh, we're like, close it. Oh, <laughs> Mackenzie's like, no. Okay. <laughs> close it. Guys, we're being locked in there right now. By Dr. Norman, look at. What's the final oh, face that you see? My gosh. <laughs> How would he store bot? Like, would he just stack them up or something? He had to have stacked them. Like, stack them on top That's of That's what each it is. Other? There's, um, I've been in freezers like this before. There would be, like, a, like some stretchers over here, almost like bunk beds. Yeah. And they're about, maybe they're, they'd be like three or four on this side, I and three or four on this I'm side. I'm literally having visions of bodies being stacked on top of each other. It's opening, it's opening. Oh my God, I thought Oh it gosh, <laughs> scared the crap out of me. I have an idea. Why don't we all lay on the ground? Like just, <gasps> like, like bodies. Like bodies? <laughs> Why would you jank, like what? Who are Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> is all of this original? I don't know how much of it is exactly. I have a really bad headache. Do you? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna turn the noise. It's totally moving. <gasps> the foot is moving. And now it's saying Oh my no. god, it's Whoa. going to know. Look, look, look. Do you not want us to talk to you? That foot is swinging. Norman Baker 
If you're here with us, can yep. you? Yep. <laughs> Is that Norman Baker? Are you here with us right now? Can you confirm that? You can use one of the yep. devices. Yep. Were you really a doctor? Safe people. So you were a doctor? Yeah. But you didn't actually save people. You realize that, right? I'm making it. No. <gasps> Do you believe that you did actually save yeah. people? Yep. 230. 230 people? Did you the save morgue. <gasps> yeah, we're in the morgue right now. Yes. Did you save 230 people? <laughs> He's laughing. He seems like a variant type doctor. Go up. Two of them. Two of them? Cage. Locked. I want them. He's, oh my God, he's showing me the, um, the jar, the jars in the, in the, yes, the jars. He just said the jars. He's showing me the jars in the, um, yep, he said. <laughs> what do you want with the jars? Like shit. He's showing me the jars outside. He wants them in here. Why do you want the jars? They're mine. In there? <gasps> They're yours? Why did you jar people's body parts up? They needed it. They didn't need those jars. Why did you do that? Do you feel bad? To put them on my shelf. This guy is horrible. He's a yes. piece of work. The heads! The heads? Are there heads buried on this property? What did you do with the heads? A lot. <gasps> There's a lot of heads buried on this property. Heads. He's showing me like really graphic things. Why are you showing my friend Kelsey graphic things? She sees. <gasps> oh. She sure does see it. Locked in. See it. Body. Are you proud of these bodies? Across. The yard. There's, yes. There's more. There's more in the there's yard. More. Dude, I think he like buried shit. Like I think there's still shit out there. What else is outside in the yard that you want? <sighs> baby. <gasps> oh, baby. She didn't want it. She didn't oh, want I think it. She buried like a fetus or something. Wait. Did you try to give someone no Ashley? Ashley. Ashley. Did. Ashley. Someone just touched me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay. Don't. Are you touching Kelsey? Come here. No. Oh my god. He's showing me like I think there's someone who like came down here and he I think that he caught her like finding his shit and like did something. Watch. Can you see? Oh, as you ask the question. A lot. Go on. Do it. Oh. Keep showing me things like pieces like that he's really proud of and that's like really bloody and like just gross, like things I don't want to see. And he showed me like a fetus too, and I just didn't want to, I didn't want to see that. I think he like helped someone take out, I don't know. Like an abortion? Like an abortion. May, uh, maybe. Oh my that God, just, yes. 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 Oh, snap. He's like proud of it. She didn't want, well, she didn't want it. I think he like kept it too. There's something that I seen up there, and the first thing I thought of was a fetus. Let me see. Dude, he's so proud of himself. It is insane. Yeah. Is and it? he loves that his stuff is being displayed. Like, it's so weird here. He's upset that all his stuff is in here being displayed. Kelsey, what, like, what is that right there? Where? Right there in that drawer. This little thing? I mean, fetuses start like little peanuts. I feel like we should keep going. You think so? I do. I'm so nervous. I feel like he, there's things that are still there like that has not been found. I think that there's bodies out there. Oh, there's definitely bodies out there. Definitely. Did you bury a baby there? Down the hill. The hill. I heard that. You heard it was like, mom? Yeah, did I heard that. 
Wait, that was in the spirit box? No. She I needed it. I can't hear anything going through. I heard one, this. not two. That was from out, out there. there. I just heard a child's voice. I, I said, Mom. You, come outside. Said, Where did you bury the baby at? It said, Mom. Mom. And me and Mackenzie literally looked. Oh, I have chills. I am literally covered in chills. Our camera's probably yes. caught that too. Look at this. A child here with us right now? Who said, Mom? There's a woman here with us. Yes. I died. died. How did you die? I fell. Zero. Susan. Hey Susan, can you come touch one of those rent pods? Help. Did you just hear mom? I'm Did you just hear mom? I'm telling you. Wait, I heard that too. Wait, that, See, what was that? that was someone too. said, I heard that too. We all heard it. Okay, now. we all heard that, yeah. It's like a kid looking for their Bro, mom. Like, okay. mom, is there a little boy here with us right now? Are you looking for your mom? Died in pain, yes. Right. Mom died. Oh my god, so what is they talking then? Are you looking for your mom? Is her name Susan? Looking. <gasps> You're looking for your mom? Yes. 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 He's, his mom's his mom. Is. It sounds like there's a kid here. <gasps> Yes, the kid wants me to go. He's by the morgue. He's outside of the door. Do you want us to come over? Her. Who do you want to come over? You. <gasps> Look, that thing turned green too. Wait, was your mom? What? I ran off. <gasps> the kid ran off. Don't run off. Can you There's a piece of me in this room. <gasps> oh, in one of these jars? Like, I think that there's something of him in here. Can you Maybe like, I don't know. Can you tell us which jar? Yes. Which jar was it? To the left. Near you. Near you. Near you. Near you. Half? It's one of those half jars. It's a little jar. Stop. Half, oh, oh half, God. half of the fucking jar. There. That, that's it, jar that's it right there, that's it. This is the jar that he's zero, talking about. Zero. He's trying to say a number. That's me. Oh. That's me. Yes. Can you tell us what part of you he put inside of this jar? Jack. Is his name Jack? Um, Kelsey, we heard mom. Dude, all of, all of us heard mom. It was like a young boy. It was like a young boy. That's what I keep seeing yeah. is this young boy with like, almost like a bowl cut looking. Every like, single one of us caught it. And I'm sure all the cameras did. Oh. This is part of him in a jar. He they literally to told us which stuff. jar it was. Yeah, no, he kept saying there was like a piece of him. So which one? She was like moving her finger, and then you were like, stop. And then that's where her finger and was. And said half jar. He said half a jar, and look, this jar is split in half. Are you f Wait, hold on, hold on. No fucking way. Dude, this is insane. This is insane. When we asked what part of you is in that jar, you said immediately after. Whoa. Yes, Whoa. I'm right. I'm telling you. Wait, 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 what it's it a piece of his lung. His lung? It's a piece of his lung because you said I can't breathe. Oh That's my god, right. that would make sense. sense. She did say that. And it was right when we asked. She was like, I can't breathe. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. And she said while she was standing out here, didn't you say something like touched your leg? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I felt like cold air behind me. Dude. Purple? Are you serious? Everything is going what does purple mean? Off. Are you the boy I was talking to? Well, you said Jack too. You it was Jack. Jack. Yeah. yeah. Jack. Jack. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Jack. You would have actually thought there was like a child down here. With no, us. literally. Yo, yeah. we all heard it. Oh, I just saw him. No, I just saw him. Ooh. 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 The kid. Ooh. 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 He's in there. He's right there. Right here. He's this tall. I'm sorry. Hey, Jack. I can't find your mom. Oh my God, he's holding out his hand. Can you squeeze her hand, Jack? He is. He is. Oh my god. Oh, he was up, squeezing the, this finger. I wish there was something we could do to help him. You know? What can we do? <laughs> Aww. Aww. I feel so bad for him. He, yeah, like, he was done so dirty. Like, I feel really bad for him. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for him. Aww. <laughs> I don't know what, like, sometimes I just don't know what to do for him. He's crying. Wait, I have an idea. Are there any mirrors in here? Right there. Aren't mirrors portals? I mean, maybe he's, like, lost. 
Maybe, I don't know. Oh, it's so cold right here. Here, hold this. Because I think I can. Omar, whenever someone needs help, Omar is there. <laughs> He's I don't know if this is a good thing. Because okay. you don't know where that portal is going to go. <laughs> we hope that he imagines his yeah. favorite place. Well, if you go in that mirror right there, you can go home. You could go wherever you like. Imagine home. Imagine mommy and daddy. I don't know if his energy is just fading or what, you know? Remember your family. Tap into that energy of your family. All that, the positive things that you experience. Life. Do you see it? Go towards that light and you'll see your family there. Your family's in the light. Can you go to it? Yes. Go towards the light, the light, you hear it? There they are, did you hear there that? There they are. Do you see them? Do you see mommy? Yes. Stay there, Don't. you don't need to come back here. Mommy and daddy are there.